What do you do when God feels distant? When you wonder if God's even listening or if your prayers are just hitting the ceiling? I'll tell you what you do. You read the book of Habakkuk. The Israelites had functionally disobeyed all of the covenant and by 600 BC, half of the country was in exile. The other half would be within 20 years. So Habakkuk prays, how long will I cry for help and you won't hear? Surprisingly, God answers and he says, I'm doing something that you wouldn't even believe if I told you. God says, I'm using the Chaldeans. Habakkuk is like, wait, um, what? The worst people ever? Can you even do that in your holiness? And he gets no reply. So then Habakkuk takes a walk and stands alone on a watchtower in the breeze. It's a bit like overly emo, but mostly he's just waiting to hear back from God. Then he gets his answer. God says this, write this down, Habakkuk. If it seems slow to happen, just wait for it. God's like, yup, the Chaldeans, they're my puppets. And I'm going to teach you jokers a lesson about obedience and the Torah and doing what Moses said. God then gives them five woes full of clear instruction. Then Habakkuk prays this awesome prayer, including this ending. God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He brings my feet up on the high places. Sounds like the Psalms, and he meant it that way because the end of the book is an instruction to use this prayer in worship at the synagogue. And that's the whole book right there. Habakkuk is worried that God doesn't hear him. Then he's angry with God for using an evil people group to accomplish his plans. Each time God answers him and then Habakkuk prays. The message of Habakkuk is faith. Faith when you can't see what's in front of you. Can you imagine reading all of the promises in the Torah and seeing none of them? Your cousins are in exile thousands of miles away. There's no Messiah yet. The people ruined everything that Moses said would happen in Deuteronomy and you're living in a thick failure. In those moments, God desires faith like the faith of Habakkuk. George Herbert said in 1633 in a poem called Faith, Faith makes me anything, or all that I believe is in the sacred story. And where sin places me in Adam's fall, faith sets me higher in his glory. We're stuck here in the minor prophets, in all the judgments. God's righteously giving out to these people to Assyria, to Babylon, to Nineveh, to many other nations and his own nation. But if we keep waiting by faith, we'll get to the promised son, he who publishes peace, the seed from the stump of David, heaven's son and earth's savior, Jesus Christ. God created, man fell, Jesus promised. My microphone fell. Jesus fulfilled, Jesus followed, Jesus returning, and the Bible is God's word.